the announcement is that I'm going to be doing just the same thing I'm doing now for the next several years at Spire Motorsports. So I'm excited about that. Really am. Um, it wasn't really a hard decision, to be honest. How much did no. the Rick Hendrick, so you talk about the Rick Hendrick check, how much did that experience being in the nine car and it not going the way that you thought it would kind of open your eyes like, okay, I need a team that's built around me to, to stay in at Spire? Or were the wheels already in motion before then? The wheels were already in motion before that, but it did show me how important continuity is and also having a group that really – is all in I'm excited to just keep that continuity going and there's a lot of good stuff behind the scenes going with you know the Gamebridge guys jumped on board and there's a lot of stuff going that's going to allow us to hire more people and get some depth and get some more technology from GM you know I've spent and will continue to spend everything I've got to pour into where I'm at to make it to where I feel like it's capable of going and where I feel like a, where it's capable of going, like it, it's not unfeasible for us to have a year like Ricky Stenhouse is having, right? 16th, 15th, 14th in, in points. Michael like McDowell. Michael McDowell, right? Front row, and he's been at front row, I don't know how much longer, um, I don't know how many years he's been at the front row, but they've had a 10-year head start to get them to the point of people, a process of just footprint, Overall, it's hard to get those that many people to build a strong team where we started three years ago. Yeah. And it's it's hard to find that, that good core group where I feel like we've established that. And I didn't want – selfishly, I didn't want anybody else to have it. Like, I've been freaking building this thing, so I'm going to keep it yeah. rolling. 